Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in New Hampshire with Mark Manchin, a.k.a. Press NH Now, as Andre Sloan, well, exposes more of the criminal dealings of this sorry SOB. I mean, of course, he's a career criminal and a all-around moron, but there's always more to this uh, iceberg, always more be below the surface. And be sure to head over to Andre Sloan's channel and give him a subscribe for uh, giving us this uh, information. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, as you might have been able to tell from the title of this video... We're going to be talking about uh, domestic violence today and Press NH Now, or Mark Manchin. Now, I've seen a lot of domestics in over 36 years, I've seen the effects of ongoing physical abuse of women over the years, where it may start out with, you know, just a slap or maybe a little shove, uh, and then uh, over the years, the physical abuse of these women gets worse and worse. Um, you know, I've even seen it where, it, and, you know, later on in the uh, relationships that they have, it ends up with one of them in a coffin, most usually the female victim, unfortunately. Or in the case of my uh, former landlord, she ends up chasing him down the road with a frying pan and he never comes back. But the unfortunate case is, in her scenario, she ends up getting together with another uh domestic abuser so she made a uh, rather poor decision of uh, getting together with somebody else who had that exact same issue now i have exposed mark mansion a couple of times already in the past as a fraud as a total hypocrite and as a budding career criminal but tonight i'm going to add the possibility that mark mansion is quite possibly a serial woman abuser no, say it isn't so, Mark. Tell us that you're a good choir boy, a good little boy who doesn't do any wrong in the world. Oh, no. Uh, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Manchin, supposed freedom fighter for the First Amendment, who harasses female public employees to the point that they cry. Also, likes to beat upon the woman in his life. And that, ladies and gentlemen, makes him an effing coward in my book. So there is uh, substantial rumors that in June of 2022, Mark assaulted his girlfriend. Now, I can't prove that one just yet with a police report, um, but this would have been back when Mark lived in Claremont, New Hampshire going to be looking for some police reports on that uh, and see if I can prove it. All right. If and when I can find any written documentation of that, I will make an updated video for you all. But right here, I have the proof that Mark Manchin was arrested in Claremont, New Hampshire by the New Hampshire State Police on January 4th, 2023 at 11.08 p.m. He was arrested for domestic violence, uh, dem uh, which was simple battery. He had physical contact with the victim. Uh, there, was there was even a um, domestic violence restraining order issued on Mark Manchin, which kept him out of the house for a little while. But as things go in abusive relationships, the victim is dependent on the abuser. And the victim most usually ends up taking the offender back um, you know, and that's because, you know, the, the offenders are, oh, they're master manipulators, I'll tell you. You know, um, they, you know, they'll tell you that they're sorry and that it's never going to happen again. And they, you know, they go through a romantic period in a, in a, uh, what they call a honeymoon period. And then all of a sudden it, the abuse starts back up again. Oh yeah. I've definitely seen it quite a bit in a previous place I lived where my former landlord 
Well, it was in a relationship with a career criminal himself. And, uh, well, it wasn't physical abuse. It was uh, verbal and psychological abuse, but it's still abuse nonetheless. And there was a honeymoon period. It would uh, escalate to the point where uh, they would uh, co almost come to blows and she would kick him out for a few days or just pay him some money to get him out of the house for a few days. And, uh... A lot of the times I would end up having to drive him to the nearest motel and and a few times I even tried to convince her to drop the sorry SOB. But you know what? Like Andre Sloan said, uh, they're generally dependent on the abuser, which in this case, it was definitely uh, an emotional issue because, well, she had everything she needed. She was retired and had a house that was just about paid off. But she felt sorry for the abuser and just couldn't let him live under a bridge somewhere. And he said to me on a few occasions that he has lived under bridges for a while. So it would be nothing new to that sorry SOB. But hell, she, she just couldn't let him do it. Well, for the victim in this uh, instance, it was ten and a half months before Mark Manchin struck again. And uh, I can uh, now show you uh, this uh, here, that on November 20th, 2023, Mark was arrested again for assaulting a female. And uh, it was charged as domestic violence, simple assault with a bodily injury. So I can tell you in twice in one year, Mark Manchin has assaulted a female and quite possibly three times in 18 months. Now, I've reached out to Mark Manchin's ex-wife, Maria, to see if she will tell me anything about their time together. I have no clue if she'll talk to me or not, but I will let you know by making a follow-up video and telling you anything I can find out from her. So I would say if I can prove that he abused her, we've got a serial abuser on our hands here. So now you all know Mark Manchin likes to put his hands on a woman. If you're a Mark Manchin supporter or subscriber or make donations to him, you now know the most important thing you need to know about him. He's scum, he's a coward, and he's a woman abuser. He does not deserve your support or money. No sir, no ma'am. Now, knowing what you know, if you continue to support Mark Manchin, or subscribe to his channel, or donate any money to him, then you're just as big of a scumbag as he is. Please don't support a, a, a domestic violence perpetrator. Donate your money to a domestic violence center uh, some kind of a domestic violence program and help the uh, victims of domestic violence escape their abuse. Well, that's all well and good. You got to go get the help, but you've got to be willing to get the help. And in the case that I saw, uh, the uh, victim was not exactly uh, wanting to ever get any help. She was never willing to leave the sorry SOB because she felt so sorry for him because he had nothing. And you know what? It was his own damn fault. He made a mistake many years ago that led him down the wrong path and, uh, well, now he blames everybody else for it and that's the gist of that. So if you are in that kind of a relationship, don't believe all the rhetoric that your partner gives to you about how they are your only option. There are plenty of options out there. You don't need to hang around with somebody who has so little self-worth that they've got to blame you with all their problems and uh, make you pay for it. Seek out help and in that cycle. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?